Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today we celebrate the feast of St. John Fisher and Thomas More. To give you a couple of their, a couple of quotes, particularly from St. Thomas More, he used to exhort his wife and children whenever they would complain about their ordinary difficulties and annoyances. He said that they could not expect to go to heaven in feather beds. Another passage from St. Thomas, the, uh, give me a second here. This is as he was approaching his, his career and he was discussing with them how they began sort of a, a good life. You know, he first talks about his life at Oxford. It was fairly simple and yet they managed and then they would go on. I don't want to. I don't want to read it to you because it's a little bit. They throw pounds in there, and he talks funny. So I figure I'll give you a paraphrase of it. Uh, and he talks about how they they grew in their wealth and, and convenience. And he says, as he's approaching his martyrdom, he realized what was going to happen. He had I don't think he'd yet been arrested, but he realized he had to step down from being a <coughs> chancellor. And he talked to his family and said, you know, we're going to have to kind of. You know, little by little, we're going to have to shave down the, the little luxuries and conveniences that we've gotten used to. And, you know, he says, eventually, if it comes to it, he says, you know, if we don't even, can't even manage to live as we did, say, when I first studied in Oxford, he says, well, then, you know, at least we can all go begging and hopefully we'll still be joyfully and happy as a family. He Part of what he was underlining, and it's one of his characteristics in his family, um, he tried not to bring his problems home. He tried to bring joy, communicate joy in the family. And it's something that, you know, we all, each of our, on our own, something we all need to strive to do, to bring joy to the family. Not looking, you know, for it to come from others, but we ourselves need to bring it there. <clears throat> so always, always remember, whenever Father John Joseph is talking about virtues, it's not for you to examine other people's consciences. Uh, it's to examine your own conscience. And you say, yeah, I hope, I hope that finally they, you know, my wife gets the picture. <laughs> I hope my husband finally gets the. No, you, it's all upside down and backwards. You, you fail to hear. What